Hello everybody and welcome to what you are tuned into my channel. My name is Michelle Kuleni and this morning I'm bringing you into my morning. I don't know if it's going to be the rest of the day but at least just the morning. Morning routine and I don't know. I just washed my face with this um, Katikura. It's my first time trying it. I've been using it for the past three, the past week. It's Thursday today. I've only used it twice because I don't want to over exfoliate but I am loving it so far so that's been good and then I'm now going to go in with my Porsche M serum uh, quite enjoy it I like it I'm not very like big on face routines I do like the bare minimum because A it just all seems useless to me maybe because I just have I don't know, my skin is not like problematic, so I don't find that I have to do too much to it. So maybe that's it. I don't know. I really enjoy it and I get to support local brands so makes sense to me. Posha M stock sunset pad. Please. This morning as I was busy filming you see what I was cleaning up I was cleaning up this so now I have to get a new bottle but it's fine I can access one it's not that deep but it's just inconvenient and annoying if anything please don't have glass shots I need you in my life there you go that's a lot yeah Anyway, so today I'm just going to do a break, like a morning routine situation. Um, I'll probably just like make my coffee, make breakfast, do a little bit of Bible study, and then we'll see what happens. But it's not going to be too long. Yuck!
did it. Washing machine in the background. Sorry about that. But here's my mix. Just need to mix it in together so that it doesn't make lumps. Yeah. I already boiled my water in the kitchen, so we're just going. so it's been a morning um, and yes I'm still in the room that echoes because my son is playing the TV is going my husband is with him don't know what they're doing so this is what we have to work with until I can fix my studio situation pray with me <laughs> um, suppose if we get the AdSense dollars up you know I can afford to get some some stuff to fill up the room so that we can have a, a decent sound quality but i think i just wanted to share something with you uh this morning as i was reading oh my goodness you know when the lord fetches you like he fetches you and this is on something that i had been contemplating for like almost two weeks now um and i was just reminded by god how it's not about you none of it through the story of john i was reading john chapter three i think um, and from chapter 20, it speaks about how John was exalting Jesus. And it was just so beautiful how the Holy Spirit reminded me, Hori, none of this is about you. You know, even if you've got gifts and you've got abilities, which I've given to you, but none of it is about you and you should not glory in them. Instead, operate in them with thanksgiving that I've even given them to you, you know? So that was one thing to think about, <laughs> you know. Um, then the other thing that I wanted to share with you guys before I close out this vlog is just how it's so important for us to assess and determine what season we're in. The reason I say that is because if we fail to determine the season that we're in, we're going to want to operate out of season. And I feel like I say this a lot, but it, I think it's something that I've just... I'm still digesting and I'm still regurgitating <laughs> and then you know because I just feel like when you when we desire or when I desire things that I see that I know are for me but I get frustrated because I can't operate in them the way I want to because of the season that I'm in right and it just sometimes takes us being honest with ourselves to understand that this is the season that I'm in, and in this season, this is the capacity that I have. Yo, guys, when I tell you, because I remember like for a while, I just used to be so hung up on the fact that I couldn't do certain things. I couldn't, you know, be as productive as I used to be. I couldn't be as out there as I used to. And the key word is used to. That, that indicates a previous time, a previous moment, a previous season. And because I was my mind was set on the previous season, you know, I couldn't fully function and enjoy this season because this season comes with its own things. But when we start reminiscing too much and we start being so caught up in the past season, what happens is that you operate from a place of discontentment. And the Bible will say that contentment with godliness is gain. So, in order to operate in contentment, you need to assess your season. Because 
it's like I always say, you can't expect to have sweet, you know, summer fruit in winter because it's not natural. That one, it's not natural. That one was probably grown in a lab or they forced it to grow outside with minimal sun. Because it's a summer fruit, it needs like exposure to the sun so it can fully grow and fully get all the sweetness and everything that we need. But when we now eat that strawberry out of season, we're discontented because it doesn't taste the same. It doesn't taste the way we want it to taste. Gandhi, if we had waited in sun to eat the strawberry in its season, it would have tasted how it's supposed to taste. I don't know what you're going to do with that. <laughs> But it just, I think for me, I'm just, you know, guys, when it comes to knowing the times, is, is it the sons of Issachar? Is it in the book of Samuel or where is it? But there's a story about the sons of Issachar and the Bible says that these men knew how to discern times and seasons. And as a result, they were able to act accordingly. We fail to act accordingly and as a result become discontent, frustrated, disillusioned. And when I say we, I'm talking about me too. We get to that place of frustration and some even anger because you fail to discern the times and the season of your life. For some, it's a time to accelerate. For some, it's a time to slow down. You know, and I think for me, that was something I struggled with for a better part of a year and a half. As I'm at home raising my son and I'm thinking, goodness me, I used to be so paid fast. I used to be that. I used to be that girl, you know? And now the, the illusion that the world, excuse me, excuse me, the illusion that the world sells you is that you can have it all at once. And listen, this might be controversial, but I don't think that's true. If you do have it all at once, something there is going to suffer. And that's a fact. You can't have it all equally at once. Let me put it that way. I can't be the mother I want to be and be out there doing the most, getting all the acting gigs, you know, being a TV presenter, going to auditions, you know, uh, putting out as much content as I want to. I can't. It, 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 I can't be out flying and going to conferences and speaking at all these different places. Because in this season, the way I want to mother, the way I want to wife, it doesn't accommodate those other things. I think it was a man called Myron Golden who said that, oh, how did he put it? Because yeah, but the way he put, I'm paraphrasing what he was saying, but ultimately in a city, when you, when you have a goal, when you, want some, when you want to do something, right? So in my case, I want to be, a present mother, I want to be a present wife, I want to create and develop a secure attachment with my kids. So that looks like not me sending them to crash before they're two. You know, that means being a, because listen, being a stay-at-home mom was not a plan. As a matter of fact, I was the girl who was like, stay at home for who, for what? I gotta be out there, you know, I gotta be on TV, I gotta, mm, 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 right? But God will humble you and life will humble you, <laughs> okay? But I know that I need this at this point in my life. I finally discerned the season. But what I was saying is, when you have a goal to do whatever it is, you need to prioritize then the things that don't feed that goal. The things, if you have a priority or you have something that you're aiming towards, the decisions then that you make need to feed into taking you to that point. And a lot of the times when we want it all at once, we fail to see how other things around are going to suffer, right? And there was a woman, I think it was the CEO of, what is that company, Gosia? Uh, oh, but it's a, it's a lovely Indian older lady. And she was basically talking about having it all is a myth. She says, I, I couldn't have become the CEO of this multi-global or global multinational, whatever, company conglomerate if I was present in my kids' lives. It wasn't going to happen, you know? And I love that she was so honest about that because the world, the devil, wants to sell you this illusion that you can have it all and then you live a life of frustration, of burnout, because you're trying to have it all when you're not supposed to. You are not supposed to have it all at once. You are not. You are not supposed to have it all at once. That's why there are seasons. That's why there are times. 
there's a time for this and there's a time for that. But the, the way we've been exposed to life makes us feel like we need to have everything at once. And then when we pursue that, we slip into anxieties, depressions, suicidal ideation ideation because you can't attain this thing now you want to you want to you get what i'm trying to say right i'm giving you my context as a wife and a mother and a you know whatever else that i used to be who knows where god is going to take me i don't even know if i'm going to go back to acting if i'm going to go back to being on television i'd love to you know but i don't know if that's in the books for me um going forward but you know right now peace shalom joy and i'm not saying it's easy to settle in that knowledge that in the season there are certain things i can't do and if i try to do them i won't do them well does that does that make sense if i try to chase all those other things i won't mother well i won't be present for my kid the way i want to you know i won't be present for my husband who's also doing the most in his own space so times times i wow the times and seasons is something we need to we need to reconcile with in this generation so i think a lot of us can also escape the rat race when you understand that you don't have to have it all at once just because you don't have it now doesn't mean you won't have it in the next two three four five six ten years right snap thank you jesus but yeah Anyway, thank you so much <laughs> for watching this vlog. I hope it was beneficial. I hope you, I don't know how long, comes, well now this portion, but the other stuff is just you watching me um, do whatever I was doing. Thank you for doing so. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe. Please, if you got this far in the video, please subscribe to the channel. Clearly you like something. <laughs> and if you have not yet liked the video, please do like. Please engage me in the comments, ask questions, uh, give your own, you know, what, what, what do you think about what I'm saying? Do you think it's possible to have it all at once? Um, what, what is your experience with that? Um, yeah. And also, what else did I want to say? I had something in mind, but it's okay. It's in my mind now. Uh, if I remember it, it'll be, in the, if it's important, it'll be in the next video. But thank you so much for watching. All my love.